So this video is pretty much for anyone who wants to start getting their core activated. Nothing in the video was planned. It was at the spur of the moment after finishing my routine. And I thought of putting this together. This picture, I have it in another app video focusing on the obliques, you know, the side of the muscle. Just to show you some of the areas we will be targeting. The main thing in order to get your abdominal up to par is to have a clean diet and eat uh, regularly. Um, without a clean, healthy diet, no matter how hard you work at the gym to get the abs, you will not see any of the definition that most people love to have, the six packs. I showed this towel as a way of visualizing the way you want the muscle fibers to work. There is no one way of working out your abs. The more variation you have, the better. This image, I also have it in one of my abs video. Some, some people need to see or visualize how certain things work. That's the reason I have this uh, picture of the towel, just showing you how it twists. And that's how you want your abdominals to twist to actually work. So you can have those definitions. Now let's get started. I've decided to keep the background noise so you can hear my heart rate monitor goes on with just simple movement. I didn't hear it at the time until I was editing the video. But anyway, I was uh, touching my uh, abs just to show you that I kept it as tight as I can. If you don't do that, the routine will not be effective. You always need to keep your abdominal as tight as possible. It is a very, very simple movement for beginners. Once your abdom abdominal is tight, lift your legs slowly as far as you can. Try to keep everything tight. You don't really need to go crazy with this and you don't really need to lift your leg uh, too high. One thing you can do uh, to really focus on the muscles that you are trying to work on is to just close your eyes. Um, as you can see, my eyes are closed. <laughs> there you go, the watch again. Um, I was not doing anything crazy. Um, I kept poking my abs uh, to show you that it was tight throughout the movement. Like I said, I didn't plan to do this video. I was doing whatever I felt at the time. And you can hear the watch goes on. I was catching my breath. <laughs> yeah. I need to rest a bit. Uh, this is uh, another variation uh, you can do while your abs remain tight. Lift one leg at a time, slowly, very slowly. You don't need, uh, there goes the watch again. I was not doing anything crazy. Very simple thing while the abs remain tight. You know, one thing you should remember, whatever you do on one side of your body, you have to do it on the other side as well. You don't want one side to look fit than the other one. And now I'm just going to put a little music enough with the watch and my breathing. Uh, another simple routine is to use the stabi stability ball. I'm just showing you that my abs is tight. <laughs> Each time you see my, I poke myself, I use just to show you that it's tight. Nothing major. I try to keep my legs at a 90 degree angle. The ball helps maintain that angle easily. Here is the twisting movement. Remember the towel? You want your abs to do that twisting motion. Uh, it will be hard to keep the abs tight, but try your best. And you can see that I kept my arm wide open. That also helps keep my upper body flat and stable. My eyes remain closed, concentration, uh, concentrating on my abs. Uh, my watch uh, was going on uh, like crazy. And it's just simple motion. All this routine were not planned. Another movement you can do while you are in that position, keep your lower body um, on one side, then lift your upper body. Again, you really don't need to go crazy. Lift your upper body the best that you can. As you get better at it, you will be able to go uh, much higher and eventually use weight to do some of the movement. For now, just keep it simple. Uh, your main focus is to, uh, is to keep your ab as tight as possible while doing the movement. Whatever you do one side, you have to do it on the other. Same concept. You see where the ball is, uh, right by my calf muscles? Remember, this is for beginners. As you get better uh, of 
you know, the ball uh, while lifting your lower body, you can move the ball to your feet, baby steps. Keep the abs tight. You might be tired um, of me saying it, but it is a must, I believe. The plank, uh, it is a really good uh, exercise for the entire body. If you don't keep your body straight and your abs tight, it's not worth doing. For beginners, you can start with your elbow, forearm, like I'm showing, and extend your body as far as possible. Try to hold that position for about 10 seconds, little at a time. As you get better, you can increase your time. Once you start losing control, it's best to, you know, to stop. Um, when my body started stagging, I did something else while we remained in that position. Uh, this, some beginners may not be able to do it, but it's, you can always try. I'm not going crazy at it. I take my time making sure my abs is tight when I move my legs. Uh, you can see my face. I was trying to keep control of it. I went back to starting position thinking I might be able to hold it a bit longer, but my body was saying otherwise, so I just stopped. I was trying to catch my breath. If you do it right, it can take a lot out of you. This is for the lower body or lower back. The, I think it's called Superman. You lay on your stomach straight. You lift your upper and lower body at the same time. The more you do this, the higher you will be able to go. I actually need to do this more often myself. It's very simple and effective exercise. Uh, what's really good about this routine is that your body is in somewhat compromising position. You're not holding anything for support. The muscles that uh, enable the movement is actually working. Uh, you cannot cheat or substitute anything to help you move your body. The muscles uh, have to do the work. That's what's good about this simple and effective movement. This last movement goes back to that twisting motion. Remember the towel? I was... You know, I was going to use the ball first and then I forgot it's for beginners. So you first start with your body weight, stay at 45 degree angle, about, and twist your upper body from side to side. Remember, it's about the core, keep it as tight as you can. Turn from side to side. Um, as you get better at it and you start finding the movement is becoming easier with just your body weight, then you can use some form of resistance. Um, this time I'm using this medicine ball um, for more resistance. Um, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share some of the videos. Thanks.